Hi everyone. The other day I did a video about buying a chateau and selling a chateau, uh, in which I mentioned that finding a chateau for under five hundred thousand these days is not an easy thing. And then I thought about it. And I thought, well, let's test this out. See if we can find a chateau for five hundred thousand. I spent a few days raking through different websites and trying to find as many chateaus as possible for you under the five hundred thousand mark. And pleased to say that I found a few. In fact, I found quite a few. So here we go. We're not going to be seeing just one chateau, not two, not three, but 16 different chateaus for sale in France at this present day uh, for under the 5,000 euro mark. Quicker run through, just see what we think of them and take it from there. Right, the first one we have here, uh, it's a bit of a bargain basement, I suppose you could call it. €195,000 being sold with just over a hectare of land, which is just over two and a half acres. Uh, not a great deal of detail. Five photos, but this is France. Uh, first photo, well, what I can see here is it needs a whole new roof. That's actually um, tarpaulin roof in there. So, new roof to be done. Tower looks nice though. Okay, so it actually looks like it's under work in the moment. Possibly livable in a basic way. But still quite a bit to be done. I love these actual... This is it's probably actually a homegrown renovator. Because if you actually look at this, it's all nicely done. Lots of wood, etc, etc. Uh, none of it's finished. But the garden's all going. Uh, let's hope they've got some septic tank or mains drainage in there already. Otherwise, you'd be digging it back up again. So there you go, Chateau Number One in the village of Myroncourt, Charette, which, if you look on the map, is over here on the actual eastern border of France, getting over towards Switzerland and Germany. Next one up. Admittedly, this is probably one of my favourites. I don't think I should start with one of my favourites, but there you go. This place here is on the market for three hundred and eighteen thousand euros. See the photos here. Let's enlarge that a bit. There you go. That's better. Uh, as you might guess, it's on the market with Le Foray. So three hundred eighteen thousand euros, and it looks well. We're not perfectly habitable, but certainly habitable. Uh, okay, the bathroom's a bit dated. Uh, that staircase looks a bit worse for wear. Ground floors there. Okay, certain things I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have gone for lombry panelling on the ceiling. But certainly usable. Decent looking roof on there. The windows all look sound, except for one or two on this side here. All sounds very interesting. In fact, it looks so nice, in fact, I'm almost asking what the problem is, because... It's on the market at 318,000, being sold with, if I remember properly, no, I don't actually remember, uh, 3,000 meters square of land, which is like uh, three quarters of an acre, basically. Walled garden, all looks very nice, but it almost looks too cheap for what it is. So, don't know. And that is actually situated, once again, on the eastern side of France. You actually see as we go on in these videos, <laughs> They all seem to be around this sort of area here, or on the um, Pyrenees border. There's one or two others spotted around, but quite a few to the east and to the south. So, Chateau number three. Uh, well, it's definitely a chateau. Or, well, it was a chateau. Um, this is real, real history buffs if you really want to do it. You know, hilltop chateau. And this is about this is what your photos are. So. Not brilliant photos in a game. What else can you photo in that case? Um, not my thing. I was going for a chateau. I'll keep something with a bit more structure to it, let's say. Uh, so that's been sold for in the south of France with four hectares. So uh, 10 acres. Probably all that woodland hill we saw. 330,000 euros. Me personally, it doesn't do it for me. There might be people out there for that sort of thing, but not me. And that is down on the southern border, literally not very far, so that's a good bonus, definitely. So, nice area, but I think I'll get something a bit more structurally sound. 
So Chateau number five. So this one is in 64, which is, once again, down south, but on the other side, again, over towards uh, Biarritz, that sort of thing. Uh, so 11 room chateau, 1,500 meter possible living space, uh, land size, I saw here somewhere, yeah, six hectares. On the market at 344,000. Let's have a look. Uh, well, it's a decent outbuilding. If that's a chateau, there's a problem. No, it's not. So, yeah, there's a chateau there. Uh, I think the word is, oh my god. I think it'd be a nutter to take this on myself. Let's have a look. Okay, that inside staircase doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah. How to make a property look nice? Okay, well that sums it up. Maybe she didn't go far into the chateau because she's too worried for her life. No, well, me personally, I wouldn't be going for that one either. Onwards and upwards, let's say. Chateau number five, is it? Oh, I love this one. This is another like the one a bit before there. I don't know if you get the dog free with it, but this is the chateau. Um, what can you say? Not much. You got a little cottage. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Uh, what's the details got here? Um, it's okay. It's listed building as well, which means you can get some grants, but that's another long story. And how much land does it have? Two thousand seven hundred meters square of land. So that's like half an acre. And we're talking three hundred fifty-seven thousand euros for this. Uh, if you ask me, I think someone might be dry dreaming a bit. Where is this situated? Okay, Italy, we're getting close to Paris. Let's be optimistic. But not that close. Mm, not my call. So, Chateau number one, two, three, four, five. Chateau number six. And... I, thought, okay, so I love these websites where you click on the photos and they don't actually enlarge anymore. Uh, 600 metres square of liberal space, 8,700 metres square of land, which is a good two acres, uh, seven bedrooms. It's a chateau which was built in 1947, according to this, so that's an interesting one. Let's zoom in a bit, see if we can actually get a decent... Uh, not that easily. Anyhow. So... Oh, now we've got a photo like that. It's going, to, it's going to be one one of these ones where they jump around the sizes. And that staircase is like needs complete rebuilding. Um, that looks okay, I suppose. That's the same shot. Doorway. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Well, this is actually comes back to what I was saying before. Is actually, I think you're better off going higher up into the budget to get something a bit more finished. There's one or two around interesting, but a lot of these is like, hmm, where do you start? Nicholas Notary's giving a good choice of load of photos here, which is nice to see for once. Even if they're not absolutely brilliant photos, gives an idea. Well, nice doorway there. Still more photos. It's actually quite a nice building. Just needs a lot of work. We're back to begin there. No, not just smaller photos. Lots of photos. Anyhow, we're going on from that. Price wise, 366,000. Uh, and that is situated where? That's situated north of Toulouse, south of Brive So not far from Cahors, that sort of area. So interesting area. Might be worth a look. Chateau number seven. And so where's this one? This is actually Viraldera's. Uh, which I believe is right on the south. Let's have a look at the map here quickly. I did spend some time sorting out the maps earlier. Yeah, that's it right down south. 
between Toulouse and Narbonne. Uh, on the market, 367,500. Can we actually enlarge these photos, or is that it? No, we can't enlarge the photos. Okay. Um, okay, we're getting to the house now. Don't you love it when they actually have photos like... This is the surrounding countryside. Anyway, back. Mm. Right, okay, so basically all the floors are stripped out and there's a scaffolding going right up. Mm. Sounds like you're literally buying four walls and a roof. Let's hope the roof is good. Don't know if you see that there. Pretty hefty crack there. But an unusual one, 367. You need to have, sit, have a better look at it to know. Yeah, this photo here worries me. Not the best thing. Like I said, down south there, let's go on to number eight. I'm actually quite pleased with this website called Effie City. Nice big photos for once. Uh, let's look. Details here quickly. This is what well, they call it a uh, house in details, is it? Chateau Ververon. Uh, 500 meters square, 10 rooms. How much land does it have? Let's find that somewhere. Does it even get the O? Just over a hectare. So come up with three acres, let's say. So you see in here, it looks a bit dated. Oh, oh is that the only face inside? Okay. Nice big photos, but not many of them. So, quite dated, but by the looks of it, livable. And you've got a big outbuilding. So I can't tell you more about it. Looks nice. 369. Whereabouts is it situated? Oh, we're right down towards Beeritz again. So, me personally, I think that could be interesting. That's a slate roof on there. What I can see of the slate roof looks in good order and like i said the inside shop we did have looks quite good might be an interesting property to look at for someone chateau number eight or whatever it is i don't know right let's have a look at this one we have 1.54 hectares of land so uh basically it's two and a half acres per hectare so you got like what was that four and a half acres there 14 rooms uh 335 meters square livable space uh, if you don't understand meter square, when you use feet square or yard square, where it is they use in the UK, uh, basically times by ten and add a bit. I know it's a very rough guide, but let's say I'm not sure what the exact figure is. But if that's three three five, call it three thousand six hundred. Photo wise here, oh, actually nice big photos. I do like that on a website when you get big photos. Uh, tiled roof looks in good order. Uh, looks in the countryside. Relatively good order, certainly outside. Uh, that's a bit dated there. How are we going to get some inside shots? Oh, yep, there you go, an inside shot. So it's an old hunting lodge. The owner probably killed that boar when he was 13 or something like that. Oh, is that all we get? Okay, so once again, let's have a look here. Uh, little detail there on this parquet floor. You can see it's all expanded out. So that's probably laid onto, well, not onto the earth itself, but not far away from the earth. So the humidity is playing on the floor there. Central heating, no doubt oil fired. Uh, they've got some little wood burners in here because it's probably too expensive to heat with oil. Okay, it's not a great thing to go on, but. Certainly looks like an interesting property. Like I said, these sort of properties, it's very much personal taste. You have to go and see it and see if it feels right. And that's on the market, just on, on, on 399, call it 400,000. I love it when I do 399995. And yeah, so reasonable looking property. Let's have a look and see where it's situated. Don't do what I did. I saw Lorb and thought of the Ord, which is down by Perpignan. This is a little Lorb which is north of Paris. So like pretty well opposite ends. 
since a year, though it's actually not North Paris, it's over here towards Trois. So you can see this here, there's Paris there. The Ord region is down here. So, a bit far away. But certainly interesting property. On to the next one. Okay, great first photo from this agency here. We're on the market, 473. You'll see why I chose this one later, because, well, I chose this one. Anyone I found under 500,000, I'll put it on here. But I think it's, this is a very French thing of not putting a main photo as the main photo on there. And let's see, three bedrooms, 148 meters square, four rooms, and 85 meters square of land. Something sounds weird there to start with. Second photo. I oh, know, we're still onto inside. All very clean and tidy. The thing that's making me worry is the 85 meters square. So the fact that he's got 85 meters square of land, which includes the building, and it has all these rooms, I don't think it is a chateau. It can't be a chateau. It's more of a tower. So, well, let's move on from that one. I think that's cheating. That, that agency's cheating there, if you ask me. On to this one. Uh, that, well, that is definitely what we call chateau. The Renaissance-style chateau there. Always got automatic feed on photos as well. Uh, on the market, 486,600 meters square of land and 7.6 hectares. So 7.6 hectares, that's uh, uh, 14, uh, what, 20 acres odd. So let's bring up the photos if we can. There you go. Right. There's the main photo in the countryside. I don't know if you can see it just off screen there. Oh, that's the main road up the top there. Although quite old, there's single glazed windows there. Uh, the old ones. It does look in fairly good order. Looks like it hasn't been lived in for a while. Okay, um, so it was some sort of school by the looks of it. These are typical school outbuildings. Which we've <laughs> seen their better days. A bit of damp in there, but that's expectable. The old toilet blocks. Yeah, so it must have been some sort of old school at some point. And quite a bit of work to done to it. But admittedly, if someone wants to do some sort of school, schooling setup, it could be interesting. I think that's a good, good aerial shot. There's the chateau. One, two, three, four, possibly five different school buildings. So, yeah, that could be an interesting property, if you ask me. 486,000 euros. And that's in Gen. Uh, Gen is south of Paris. Uh, what's it close to? Sancerre? If anyone knows Sancerre? Or Lyon? So quite central, maybe not the most happening place, but certainly central France. Could be interesting with someone. What do we have next? This one here, ooh, a lovely little chateau down in Dordogne. 486,000 euros, uh, being sold with six hectares. This one here, actually, I really like the look of. I wouldn't buy it, but I like the look of it. Because when you actually look at this, this is very much the what we call the Perigordian style uh, chateau with the enclosed courtyard to the front. It needs quite a bit of work on it, as you can see. Looking out over the countryside, that's nice. Big old fireplaces, the sort of thing a lot of people are looking for. Like I said, a lot of work here, but that, that's not what's worrying me too much. What's worrying me too much, I didn't find on this website, I found on another website. This is another agent who's advertising it. There you go, there's that courtyard area. All looks lovely. And then you've got this photo here. This is the loft of the main house, or at least I think it is. You've seen all that daylight there, all that rubble, all that dust. That roof is shot. Needs a whole new roof on the whole lot. And if you look at the size of that building, uh, where's the main, trying try to shot the main building. There you go. That's a big roof. You've probably got about 150,000 euros, if not more, of roof on there. So be warned, because that one's 
I said 460 odd. Uh, sorry, 490 with them and 486 with them plus 150 so you're on 650 something like that so like I said I wouldn't do it myself situated just outside Paragua which is the capital of Dordogne on to the next one let's go back to the main photo this is another interesting one I find healthy looking building whether you like it or not is another thing but it's healthy looking building on this site here we don't actually have any interior photos just the floor plans which obviously a <laughs> bit of a pain uh, makes me think of two things either it's in such a state inside uh, that they don't want to do photos b uh, it might be very clinical like office type rooms so it's not very nice to look at or c it's just an empty structure and this was some sort of project they had but certainly on the outside though it looks in good condition there are some out buildings there uh, what do we know about it uh, some of you square land 495,000 euros uh, how much land does this have uh, 2.7 hectares and that is in the area of Kuzu which Kuzu is down towards Lyon basically just, let me just make it out here between Clermont-Ferrand and Lyon. There's the Loire going down there. So quite southern, south-east, let's say. So it might suit someone, but I'd like to know more about the inside myself. And then we had this one here. It's a bit of an unusual one. Earlier we had one which was a castle, was a tower, tended to be a castle. I think this one here is more of a castle tending to be a tower because when you actually see the photos here this is the photo you see okay there you go so I may be wrong uh, but I've actually managed to locate it on Google Street View and when you see it here It does seem to have all this building out the back here. Whether or not it's with it, I don't know. But you can see, this was this shot was done in 2023. It was on the market then. And it just said dungeon. So maybe it's a tower. Maybe it's a chateau. Like I said, these are French agents. Not always that clear on what they're selling. But that's 225,000 euros. Admittedly, if it's a full chateau, okay, it'd be a village chateau. It's not much land. We look like a courtyard area. That still sounds cheap. If it's just the, the tower, well, I think I need to clarify a bit, and it does sound a bit expensive. On to another one here. If we go back to the main sheet here, uh, is actually, oh yeah, this is this one. This one's in Normandy. Uh, I've actually located it. And <laughs> these photos are photos of photos, which is always a bad sign to start with. Uh, you can see these actually these are old style photos which have been printed out and they've seen they faded so i know when did our old style photos stop about 20 years ago i don't know and then you see photos like this um yeah hmm graffiti open doors hmm very uninspiring me personally even if it is on the side of a town, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. The roof is shot, all the water's got in, the, all the floors are gone. And how much do they want for this? Admittedly, they only want 180,000. And this is situated in the town of Sordeville. There you go, found it on Google Maps for you. That's the back of it. Uh, you've got this lovely big parking area with the dustbins next to it, the one end of town. That's a church up there, so you can localise yourself. Um, I guess that car that car parking area is probably used for markets, possibly the the fates when it comes around, and uh, possibly occasional parking for the gypsies when they're coming through. Could be a good project for someone who wants to do a restaurant or something like that, but as an actual house, no, I wouldn't do it. So let's quickly move on to the next one. 
Right, this one here, let's have a look here. Let's go back to the first photo. Oomph. There you go. Right, this one here, uh, well, first faults. I think Chateau might be an overstatement. Saying that, though, using, as I mentioned in other videos, it's not the size which counts. Now, this quite well could be a Chateau. In fact, I think it probably is. Just a small one. Now, you've got two towers there. Like that inside, that's a nice inside. Well, certainly a shattery type inside. You've got the main stairs going up there, see? Oh, they've got they've actually got a chair <laughs> going up. Uh, another little staircase with a side door there. Nice ornamental fireplace. Stone floors. Looks nice. That's a bit more boring or boring a room. It's a room with less uh, character, let's say. That's the outbuilding. There's a little stream there somewhere. That's another room. Obviously, in some chateaus, the rooms aren't necessarily as logical or nice sizes. So sometimes, let's whack a room there because there's a space. Uh, that those wall traces there are no doubt water coming down the chimney because uh, I think we'd see stains up here if it was actually uh, roof leaks. I'm guessing that's the back of it, unless it's a church. Might be a church. That stream, another view. There's a view with the two uh, two uh, towers. A oh, bedroom. Don't you like it when they put it in like logical order? These photos. And here we're talking just under four hundred thousand. Another one doing that three nine 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 five to say it's not four hundred thousand. And that's in the Solsotto. Uh, I'm guessing it's south of France, but we're looking in a minute. And 1.2 hectares, dates back to the Templars' time. Yeah, so yeah, you've got the main main chateau, you've actually got the chapel and the outbuilding. So it was a separate chapel, that one we saw earlier. Uh, and that's on the market, 400,000, like I said. I've actually managed to find it on Street View for you. Well, not Street View, but Google Maps. There you go. That's it there. That's be the outbuilding, and I'm guessing that'll be the chapel. On the edge of a small village, which is quite a nice situation. And where are we map wise? Ding ding ding. I oh, know we're actually very close to Paris. I think that could be quite an interesting one to go and see for someone. If you don't want it too big, you want the character and you want the history, because it goes back to Templar's time. Certainly worth checking out. Saying that though, things like chapel you can't really use for anything else except for the chapel and you need to take care of the upkeep of it so it is an additional expense possibly for some sort of a classical musician who wants the actual the sound quality of the chapel who knows anyway onwards and upwards once again the last one of the 16 castles for under 500,000 obviously each not together and this one here it's 460,000 euros, situated in the Dordogne. I'm not too sure about this one, but I'm literally... Leggett's, they've got some lovely over-colourised photos for you. They quite like doing those. They like go a bit over overkill with the HDR. Um, it's a chateau, but it's not a chateau, if you ask me. I think someone's like crossed like an industrial, old like 1920s industrial building with a chateau. Saying that, I once sold a big water, uh, water mill was actually had been converted into a, a state of home type house, where they added on the front, maybe something like that. So you got the beam ceiling and all that, all clean and tidy, seems perfectly livable. Okay, you got all the actual pipe in here. So central heating insulation is pretty old by looks of it. Um, lacking in character, if you ask me. Is that a kitchen? That is a kitchen. Okay. Well, you'd probably rip it out. Even if there's an old complete kitchen, you'd probably rip it out now. So, another overkill HDR. And a lovely photo of a tree. So, here's a chateau, and I'm taking that building's with it. I imagine that's the neighbours over there. And that's on the market at 460,000. And how much land do we have here? Uh, does it say anywhere? 1.5 hectares. And map wise, I believe that's in Dordogne. Yes, that's just north of Perigueux. Perigueux, sorry. 
in the Dordogne. So there you have it. Uh, yes, you can still get chateaus for under 500,000. Um, well, quite a spec there, actually. I think half of them I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy. Uh, most of them I'd seriously think about not buying. Uh, and then there's one or two I quite possibly would be interested in. Not that I'm in the market to buy a chateau at the moment. But certainly yeah, one or two interesting ones. Uh, and a lot of other stuff, let's say. So there you go. Resume of the French Chateau market for under 500,000. If, if you enjoyed this, do click on that like, subscribe and bell button for me. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.